Thank you very much for your time today. I'm Maso Sanbe from Mitsui Chemicals. Today, I'm here to talk about what Mitsui Chemicals is doing for digital transformation, or DX for short. First, a bit about myself. I've been CDO at Mitsui Chemicals since April 2021. Prior to that, I worked for NIDEC Corporation. I was in charge of overseas operations for the appliance, commercial, and industrial motor business. That had me living in the United States in St. Louis, Missouri, until last year. Further back, I spent about 30 years working at IBM, where I was responsible for customers in the financial, manufacturing, and telecom industries, as well as hardware, software, and services as brand. I've also launched new businesses related to cloud computing, next-generation core banking, AI, blockchain, and quantum computers. Moving on, I'd like to give an overview of Mitsui Chemicals as a company. We are a Mitsui-affiliated diversified chemicals manufacturer with the sales of 1.6 trillion yen and 18,000 employees. Our key vision is to solve social challenges through the power of chemistry. And to do that, we'll make use of our four business sectors, basic and green materials, ICT solutions, life and healthcare solutions, and mobility solutions. Our products include pet resin, food trays, smartphone lenses, automotive bumpers and interior materials, optical lenses, and non-woven diapers. Beyond that, we've been providing support to medical personnel and other essential workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. For example, we initiated emergency production of materials for non-woven masks, medical gowns, as well as the supply of a rubbing alcohol for face shield. We also offer a wide range of products and that are valuable to society. These include antibacterial films to keep food fresh and reduce food loss, half insoles that can sense body temperature to improve their fit, electronic glasses that can be switched between near and distance vision with a single touch, adhesive resin that help make cars lighter by reducing the weight of fuel tanks, lenses that can help protect people's eyes from harm by blocking high energy light, and agrochemicals that remain effective against pests that have developed resistance to other chemicals. In November 2020, we declared our aim to become a carbon neutral by 2050. As one effort toward that, we are looking to cut down on our greenhouse gas emissions. We are also planning to minimize emissions by offering more blue value products, our in-house standard for products that make major contributions to society and the environment and we'll increase our use of efficient fuel energy, renewable energy, and even carbon negative technologies based on carbon capture, utilization, and storage. One project here involved teaming up with Kyushu University to establish the Carbon Neutral Research Center in November 2021. The center is currently looking to develop a wide range of advanced technologies ranging from CO2 separation to manufacturing green hydrogen. Meanwhile, in January 2022, we started to ship biomosphenol, a derivative made from bio-based hydrocarbons. That was a first for the Asian market. And on top of that, we are optimizing entire supply chains by applying DX to monitor and analyze greenhouse gas emissions in real time. In broader efforts, we announced our 2030 long-term business plan. At the core of this plan is a transformation of our business portfolio. In other words, we are planning to evolve our business from a model based on providing materials to a new model focused on providing solutions. To give some examples of what the solution business will involve, we are looking to roll out our products like tape that protects the surface of semiconductors, aerial display cache registers that use transparent adhesives to enable touchless operation. Sensors for watching over vulnerable people, uh, which will help make things much easier for carers. Flexible printed circuit board and consulting services aimed at raising the efficiency of solar power generation. 
Considering all that and more, we are on track to reach an operating income of 250 billion yen by the year 2030. Next, I'd like to explain the basic strategy of our 2030 long-term business plan. Part of the plan is a vision for Mitsui Chemicals to become a global solutions partner that leads change and contributes to a sustainable future. And we have five basic strategies. Number one, to transform our business portfolio. Number two, to create solution-based business model. Number three, to bolster our initiatives for circular economy. Number four, to completely transform our business infrastructure. And finally, to pursue a digital transformation that laid the groundwork for executing all these strategies. My mission is to expand these digital transformation initiatives to the entire company and across all business units. In order to realize these goals for our 2030 long-term business plan, we've defined what we call our DX vision. Here is what we decided on. By having all members of the Mitsui Chemicals Group utilize data and the digital technologies, and create innovative products, services, and the business model with a sense of urgency, leading to a corporate, industrial, and societal transformation with the goal of solving social challenges. And to help us carry out the SDX vision, we plan to implement four basic strategies. First, improve digital literacy of the entire company. That means providing intensive education. Second, pursue innovation for our operations. We'll go about this by changing the way we work from one approach based on experience and intuition to one based on data. Third, bolster our development capabilities. We need to do this in order to help develop what we call three new, new customers, new products, and new markets. Finally, the fourth strategy here is to transform our business model themselves into ones focused on solutions and the circular economy driven by digital transformation. This chart shows the corporate image Mitsui Chemicals is targeting by realizing the DX vision. The now section on the left covers Mitsui Chemicals' current work procedures. Future on the right uh, represents how new factors are set to change Mitsui Chemicals as a company. In terms of commercial output, we'll shift from selling products to selling solutions. In other words, from one-time business to a subscription service provider. In terms of marketing, we'll move from pull to push, from mass marketing to personalized one-to-one -one marketing. And from an approach that targets only existing customers to one that sets out to win over potential new customers. In essence, we are looking to acquire new customers, new products, and new markets. On top of that, uh, we are moving from the conventional system implementation, uh, which takes a rather long time in requirement definition, to agile type development. Additionally, our data processing will be changed from batches to real time, and our data analysis work will switch from console SI to being done in house. All these new ways will come together to help Mitsui Chemicals achieve a corporate transformation. In looking to implement our DX vision, we set up a unit in April 2022 called the Digital Transformation Sector. The primary mission of this unit is to implement cross-functional discipline, or CFD for short. Essentially, we will define a discipline for promoting DX will maximize organizational capabilities across the entire company. We have also signed DX champions selected from each business unit to lead DX implementation across divisions. These DX champions are executing on digital transformation in their respective divisions. They are familiarizing themselves with the respective businesses to get an accurate understanding of the issues and needs. They are also responsible for designing solutions to solve those issues and serve as the Excel representatives for each business. The first thing I need to do was to learn from case studies for other companies. So I began compiling digital transformation use cases, which we call the DX reference book. 
With the help of our partners on their sides, we've assembled more than 200 case studies in the chemical industry alone, with a particularly large number in the areas of S&OP and sales and marketing. Each case study is recorded in a unified format, including issues, goals, solutions, and outcomes. We also hold bi-weekly study sessions with each partner. When it was ready, we distributed the DX reference book to each department and asked those in charge, the DX champions in particular, to nominate projects to be implemented in their department. That said, things here didn't go remarkably well in the beginning. When we looked into why, we discovered that most of the people reading the reference book still lacked adequate digital literacy. So unfortunately, they hadn't been able to interpret the full essence of what was written in the book or see it as being relevant to them. To address this issue, we began creating a skill enablement roadmap for digital transformation. We defined four skill levels from level zero to level three, organized training programs for each level, and prepared the test for certification. For level zero, an employee needs to be able to understand the importance of using data. Level one indicates that they are able to perform data analysis tasks with the support of higher level data scientists. Level two means that they are able to do on their own. And level three refers to the industry expert. With that in place, the most important thing is to visualize the required skills at each level. This chart shows Mitsui Chemical's skill definition by level. The horizontal axis gives a definition for each level, while the vertical axis gives skill categories, that is, data science skill, data engineering skill, and business skill. Level 0 requires totally 30 skills, level 1, 93 skills, level 2, 217 skills, and for level 3, we've defined 165 necessary skills. More broadly, uh, this in-house push to have personnel stand on their own feet is something we are promoting on multiple fronts. That is, we are going about it with regard to not just data science, but also system implementation. In the past, we outsourced most of the building and operation of our infrastructure systems. But this has left us rather dependent on IT vendors, which has made for a number of issues. For example, we can't always use systems when we want, and we can't acquire in-house skills. And now, as we enter into the era of DX, it's more important than ever to launch and evaluate prototypes as quickly as possible. With that in mind, we've changed our policies to focus more on running and executing things in-house. We've acquired skills that let us carry out development, implementation, and maintenance on our own. I'd like to take a deeper look at our digital transformation sector and how it's taken a leading role in promoting three core initiatives. First, plastic circulation platform with blockchain technology. Second, use of AI to explore new applications. And third is the holding of annual online events. So now, I'd like to provide a brief explanation of each initiative. I'll start with the blockchain-based platform for plastic circulation. As you can see on the left here, plastics get transported by tankers as oil, then turned into naphtha, and then again into monomers, polymers, and compounded and forwarded onto component manufacturers. As you can see with the picture of a refrigerator here, these products then travel from manufacturer to consumer, and finally to collection companies where they are dismantled and recycled. This is a process to manufacture, use, transport, dismantle, and recycle. Our initiative for the circulation platform seeks to guarantee safety and quality by confirming that no hazardous additives have been used and that products have been truly recycled. It's often referred to as traceability. Essentially, the platform where information on things like manufacturing inspections, uh, physical properties, quality, and recycle count can all be managed at a glance just by holding a smartphone over a piece of plastic. 
In 2022, we worked with Nomura Research Institute and IBM Japan to establish a consortium for recycling-oriented society. The name is Plachain. This consortium will promote the development of materials and chemical recycling technologies and intends to go about this by driving collaboration between industry, government, and academia. This is a summary of the benefits of participating in the consortium. Recyclers can demonstrate the safety of their recyclables, manufacturers can use their recyclables with confidence, and consumers can purchase traced, safe, and secure recyclables that can be returned to the recycling loop after use. These are the benefits we are trying to create with our platform. Next, the second initiative using AI to discover new applications. This marks a change from conventional use of AI, which has mostly focused on productivity and efficiency. Our approach here is aimed at lifting the top line, expanding sales, and increasing market share. We plan to reference a host of external information, such as patents and news, and create our one and only application dictionary. This will allow us to search for new focuses for our materials. As an example from our own experiments, AI analysis helped us discover that material A, which was previously used for food packaging, could have new applications related to electronic components. Material B, which was used in construction, could find use in the realm of semiconductors as well. The third initiative is to hold company-wide online events. COVID-19 has severely limited opportunities for consumers and clients to engage in business meetings, making it hard for them to access manufacturer information. To address this problem, we are harnessing the power of digital technologies to more effectively convey information and interlock with our clients. In other efforts, we've been actively forging ahead with internal efforts to promote DX. Corporate headquarters in Tokyo has opened a film studio we are calling the DX Studio. This is our base for video creation and live streaming. On top of that, we have begun distributing DX use cases regarding in-house good practices at DX Magazine. Furthermore, we have launched real-time live streaming, company-wide roundtables, and various all-hands meetings. In addition, our CEO is delivering his message to all employees on the significance and importance of a digital transformation. Every March, we'll hold a company-wide event called DX Day, where we share, admire, and celebrate various outstanding outcomes on the front of digital transformation. Next, I'd like to talk about DX at production plants. As you can see on the left here, we've launched a variety of initiatives for next generation at our factories. These include efforts like optimizing our operations through AI and online simulators, monitoring factories through image analysis, and providing remote support via wearable cameras. These DX initiatives across our plants aim to reduce current workloads by improving work efficiency we are showing as DX number one. In turn, by achieving significant workload reduction, we hope to get better at responding to changes in the environment, as well as to the additional workload required these days. This new initiative would be called DX number two. This initiative will focus on environmental measures, GHG regulations that need to meet increasingly sophisticated customer demands and skill transfer to deal with the risk of close to retirement age employees leaving the company in the coming years. We intend to use digital transformation to respond to these and the other demands thrust upon us by the modern era. Another aspect of digital transformation in factory is hyper-converged infrastructure, HCI for short. Edge computing is currently being used to analyze massive amounts of sensor data in real time, making it possible to establish plants with the next generation BCP. This new system makes it possible to respond immediately to requests for increased production, helps optimize line operations based on the collected data, and improve the security level of services.
standardized CI templates to contribute to a well-governed global architecture. To give another example of the benefits here, responding to calls to increase our production generally involve executing step one to step eight. The combined total of these workloads used to require leads times of up to four months, but now this can be reduced to 10 days. Next, I'd like to talk about two-tier Edge AI at factories. By making use of HCI installed at each factory and sending the data to the cloud, we can have those factories make good use of operational data while also having the cloud side run strategic data analysis. This then let us allocate data analysis workload in an optimal manner. We summarize vibration sensor data sent from our chemical plants and carry out preventive maintenance. Then on the cloud side, we work long term to analyze all the manufacturing data, implement best practice approaches across the company, and run digital twins for the likes of predictive maintenance and quality forecasting. As for R&D, we are using Materials Informatics, or MI for short, to achieve innovations uh, in the development of new materials. To date, researchers have been conducting comprehensive experiments based on intuition, knack, and experience, or what we call individual competence. In contrast, the use of MI makes it possible to carry out experiments that are far more precise and accurate. We are also working to automate these experiments uh, through the introduction of robotics. As a result, we've been able to discover new materials 10 times faster than ever before. In other words, it's now possible to discover many new materials. And that's not all. In modern times, it's becoming possible to search for new materials that exceed our current knowledge and constrained by human preconceptions. Another use case in R&D is a DX or production process for plastic compounds. This has allowed us to optimize plastic compounds by mixing base resins with fillers and other additives. In the past, it was difficult to meet targets for compound properties like flexural modulus and impact strengths. Even after hundreds of exhaustive cycle of brute force experiments, but now, uh, we can use digital transformation and MI to prioritize optimal experimental conditions and material compositions. And that's made it possible to achieve target compound properties in only 20 experiments. We will evangelize carbon neutral industrial complex by utilizing clean hydrogen and ammonia as fuel, a plant-derived biomass as raw materials and recycling blockchain as ZX technology. Our strengths reside in dual wielding of material technology in real and trace data analysis in virtual. We will maximize GHG reduction outcomes from the chemical park to the entire downstream value chain, providing cutting edge circular services. Lastly, I'd like to emphasize that our goal is corporate transformation through DX. Business processes change across each area of Mitsui Chemicals. Quick wins and the taste of success will get the people in charge of implementing things on board. From there, our company culture will become more agile, more willing to stretch to big targets. And these continuous outcomes will speed up the portfolio transformation and our 2030 long-term business plan. All of that will make it possible for us to achieve corporate transformation. That's our belief for digital transformation. Thank you for your time.